Hello guys and welcome back to Lavish Roblox. You might have heard about the controversies going around that Kaneko Kitten made the Zara Lawson event fail. So guys, today in this video we're going to discuss the same. So if you're curious enough to know more about this controversy then make sure to watch the video till the end. But before we begin with the video, we would suggest you subscribe to the channel if you'd like to stay up to date with the best content on Roblox, then you should definitely subscribe and turn on the bell icon. This way, you'll be notified whenever we post a video, and you'll never miss out on any interesting content. With that out of the way, let's begin with the video. Roblox is a platform bringing millions of people together through shared experiences and 10 music group and Epic Records announced that the pop artist phenom Zara Larson will host a launch party on the Roblox platform. The dance party themed experience will feature Larson performing a set list that includes her new album title track Poster Girl as well as hits Lush Life, FFF and Never Forget You. The experience also marks the availability of an expanded edition of the March album release Poster Girl entitled Poster Girl Summer Edition. The album includes six additional recordings, four remixes, and two new tracks. Zara's first performance, including an exclusive Q&A on Friday, May 21st, 2021 at 4 p.m. PDT, with some performances over the weekend. But do you know that there was some drama about this event two weeks ago that involved Shark Blocks, Gunnego Cats, and Kaneko Kitten? Let's talk about the drama briefly. So another Roblox event just released and to no surprise it already started to cause drama less than a day into its release. The third Roblox event released on May 21st, 2021 was the Zara Larson launch party. Like other Roblox concerts, the lobby was opened up a few days before the actual concert started happening. Since the lobby was opened up early, that obviously means people can start playing it and start leaving likes or dislikes on it, and that's where the drama begins because this game got a fair amount of dislikes quickly upon release. There were quite a few people not pleased with the number of dislikes the game got shortly after opening. For almost the entire time it had been open ratings that have gone above 50% but were below earlier, and the dislikes the game got sparked some controversy about the hate towards some Roblox event. There are a lot of people voicing their dislike of the dislikes, and now it's too early or not to pay to win. Some also argue that because of a lot of effort was put into creating it, people shouldn't dislike the game, and some people started blaming Shark Blocks, Green Lego Cats, and Kaneko Kitten for this all blunder. On this controversy, all three YouTubers came forward and spoke about this. Green Lego Cats said, I'm just gonna get this out of the way first and say that YouTubers like Kaneko, Shark Blocks, and myself are not to blame for the hate. He further said, I personally cover whatever happens, and if people dislike something, I cover that. And when something is very well received, I also cover that. He said, We don't encourage behavior. That's bad. For myself, you can go back years and see that I've never condoned or encouraged any kinds of attacks like that. He then says, we may have fans unfairly disliking these games, but we are not encouraging those fans' actions. This is not all our fault. We just cover what happens, whether it be positive or negative. We're not the ones creating all this hate towards events. So guys, this was the statement of Green Lego Cats on being dragged into the controversy. And I personally think that Shark Blocks, Green Lego Cats, and Kaneko Kitten should not be blamed for all this. And also this controversy works well as teaching monument for everybody involved on both sides of the story. I think first of all, people shouldn't be blindly hating on someone because it was some brand partnership or simply an event. An opinion on a game should be determined by how much you actually enjoy the game, not by some random bias. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.